Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into today's video. So for today, I am going to be trying out this Gelin Nail Extension Kit, which is from Amazon. This was sent over to me as PR, but it can be purchased on Amazon. I thought this was going to be the great kit to do today because I did want to try out that very trending pop art nail art design. So I'm also going to be doing that today. So stay tuned if you've been wondering how that is done because I will be trying it. But let's go ahead and start off first with this nail extension kit. So I just went ahead and showed the back of the box. On the back, it shows everything that's included in the package. And then now I just went ahead and pulled out the, like, everything inside the package. Starting off here with the instruction manual for how to do the nails and also the little instruction sheet for the nail lamp. I went ahead and actually removed everything from the packaging. That way it was easier for me to show everything that was included. So starting off with the first thing is the nail lamp. And this is just one of these small little nail lamps. These are pretty basic nail lamps that are included in like gel X sets or nail extension kits, anything like that. You're more than likely going to get an easy, convenient nail lamp like this. The only thing I do not like about these nail lamps is usually they do not have an on and off button. It's kind of just you put your hand in there or your finger and press it down a little bit and it will turn on, but you cannot turn it off. It just makes it a little bit harder for me, but of course the nail lamp does work great. We also had that little clear clip. Some people really love using these. Other people don't always like to use them. It makes it a little bit harder and I am one of those people. I just personally prefer going without that nail clip most of the times. This kit also includes some nail decorations which I really like because even though I didn't use either of these today, I feel like this when kits include decorations, I feel like it's a really good kit for beginners because it does start you off with some nail art. So we got a small little glitter and then we also have this like Aurora paper, glass paper. I honestly don't know if I would ever really want to try this. It looks super beautiful, but I just don't know if I would be the person to wear this or try it. I also do know that it can be very difficult to use, but anyways, it still is very pretty. We also have a nail primer, which is very nice because... It primes your nails and allows your application to last a lot longer if you are using a primer. So I think that is super awesome that this kit includes the primer and this kit being on Amazon for under $20. It's pretty awesome that the nail primer and also the nail prep dehydrator is included. Most kits don't actually include these two items, so it is great when you get a kit that already has them included. We also have the no wipe top coat, which was a really good consistency. I actually really fell in love with this top coat. It was that perfect consistency, not too thick, not too thin, but still on the thicker side, allowing it to seal in all of your nails. And of course, we have the Extend Gel, which is what you are going to be using to apply your nail tips. This was also a very thick consistency. Usually, these products are super thick. That's way, that way, it is easier to apply the nail tips and it doesn't run all over the place and flood your cuticles. The next thing is a nail file, which is a 100-180 grit and also a 100-180 grit buffing file, buffing block. It's not really a block, but it is a buffer which was also really good quality and I liked that it wasn't actually a buffing block. I'm used to using buffing blocks, but with this like buffing file, it was really nice to use. And the last and final item included in this kit are the nail tips. These are the almond shaped tips and we do get 240 different nail tips included. So you do get a pretty decent amount plus everything else that is included in this kit. So let's go ahead and size out our nail tips. I am going to be using the ones included in the kit. While I am sizing these real quick, I do wanna mention that on Amazon, they actually do have different sizes of nail tips for this kit or different shapes, I apologize. You can get square, almond, short square, short coffin, or a longer coffin. These ones in this video, I am using the almond. So sizing out your nail tips, it is pretty easy when you have them on a little strip like this. You can just size it out and then if it fits, you can pop it off. 
but as sizing goes, you do want the nail tip to fit you from sidewall to sidewall without needing to press push and squish down that nail tip you just want to be able to hover that nail tip over and have it fit from sidewall to sidewall or if you are squishing it and pressing it down it isn't fitting your nail bed properly another very helpful tip with getting your nail tips to look a lot cleaner giving a salon quality finish and also having them fit you personally a lot better and getting that super perfect fit is taking your hand file and gently going around the cuticle and the sidewall of the, your nail tip to clean it up and get that perfect fit. When you are doing this, make sure you are going in with very minimal filing. File a very small amount and then check if it fits. And then if you need to go in with more, of course, file some more. But if you file too much off, sadly, it's going to you're not going to be able to put that nail tip back to how it was so that's why i do recommend going in and filing a little bit at a time these nail tips are also very cool because they already have the shine buffed away from the nail tip from on the inside and also on the outside which i think was really nice Another thing with this kit is the nails last up to 21 plus days. It's super quick, super easy, and let's go ahead and just get to applying these nails. Recently, I've really been loving the Gel X application of applying my nail tips. It's a very quick and easy way to get nail extensions very fast, and I have a few videos up on my channel showing the prep routines that I like to do for my Gel X application, but in this video today, I kind of wanted to stick with the pamphlet and follow the instructions for this kit here, just because if you are a beginner and you don't have a fancy e-file, or if you don't have a bunch of other like buffing blocks or hand files, files or so on and so forth you are probably more than likely buying this kit to get everything that's included in this kit to be able to right away start off doing your nails and not needing to purchase anything else looking at the instructions that were included step number one was to remove the shine from your natural nail plate. This is very important and of course I would do this even if I was not following the instructions in this kit. Step number two is clean your nails surface. You can use an alcohol wipe but I did decide to use a lint-free wipe with some isopurple alcohol. This will remove any dust and also help to remove any other oils on your nail plate. Coming up to the next step is using the nail dehydrator which again will dehydrate your nails and remove any excess oil on your nail plate a very 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 important step if you do want your nails to last having any oils on your nail plate can cause your nails to lift and not have your manicure last as long step number four is apply a thin layer of the nail primer both of these products do dry on their own you don't need to cure them so keep that in mind and i am just going in with my nail primer and applying that on the dried dehydrator and this will prime my nails allowing my manicure to last a lot longer and not having the nails pop off Step number five was to choose out your nail tip sizes, which I have already done because I like to do this before I start my natural nail prep. And of course, I am going to be popping these nails off, so I went ahead and applied a peel-off base coat off camera. But if you want your nails to last, go ahead and just skip that step completely. That is just for my sake since I am a content creator and do want these nails to easily come off. Step number six will of course be applying the nails to your natural nails using the Extend Gel. So I have my mini nail lamp plugged in and set on the side and I just went ahead and put, picked out my first nail tip. I like starting off with my pinky nail just because that nail is the smallest and starting off with the small amount of gel and working your way up to your thumb will help you a lot with not overly applying the product. And then I just like to take that extend gel and put it on the nail tip where my natural nail is going to be. I am kind of just estimating this, but actually what was very helpful with these nail tips was because the inside already came pre-buffed. It kind of showed pretty much the area where I needed to apply that extend gel, which I thought was very helpful and probably super helpful for beginners. But I just go ahead and wipe the extend gel off the brush mostly and go in with a thin layer where my natural nail is going to be. And then I also like to take a little bit extra of the extend gel and place it near the cuticle. 
and then I slowly lower it onto my natural nail, trying my best to not to get any bubbles in the nail, and then I just hold it on there and cure for a good 10 to 15 seconds in the mini nail lamp, and then I did do a full cure of 60 seconds in my larger nail lamp to be sure that the nails were fully cured. You can go in and cure each nail individually in the mini lamp. That works just as good, but I personally prefer using a larger nail lamp. That way I can do one full cure. After curing, I do like to go in and shape and file the nails. I go around the free edge just to crisp up the nail shape and of course around the cuticle. I really like going around the cuticle with my hand file and of course I also like using a e-file as well, but you can use a hand file. I just prefer using an e-file, but for this video I did go ahead and just use the hand file. But taking your hand file around your cuticle, you can seal in the cuticle and also remove any spillage of the gel product that may be on top of the nail. I also do like to go in with the buffer to buff the shine from the nail tip. These nail tips already had the shine buffed and removed from the nail like pre-buffed, but I just went ahead and buffed them again just to ensure I had a good buffing. And of course, like I told you, I am going to be trying the very trendy pop art nail design that has been super, super trendy. Recently, I have been seeing this and I'm like, yes, I need to hop on this trend fast and now. So, of course, I just had to go for it. I will pop up a picture or a video, whichever on screen of the girl I saw do this first. Of course, this has been a trend for a very long time. It's not like this is brand new, but I do know like it's coming back around. A lot of people are trying it out again and I just wanted to go ahead and hop on that. So I'll just go ahead and pop up a picture of what I was trying to do, trying to recreate and just trying it out myself. But honestly, I thought it was going to be super hard, but let me just tell you right here, this is a beginner friendly nail art design. Like, I was amazed with how easy it was, how, like, I don't know, like, it was just so basic, but, like, in the end, it's like, wow, you did that. I, like, I was just so blown away with this nail design. So, of course, first we are going to start off with our base color on all of the nails. Since it is pop art, I think of, like, neon, bright, colorful, stuff like that. So, I did go ahead and do a different color on each nail. I will be doing my thumb off camera just because I wanted to do an Instagram reel. That way I didn't have to do like a separate nail from the nail set. I could just go ahead and do my thumbnail because all of the nails will be the same, just obviously switched up the color. And I will also be linking the gels that I used in the description box below and along with the nail extension gel tip kit, which is actually only $17.99 on Amazon. So I think that's a pretty good deal. You can also pick your nail shape. You don't have to get oval. And all of the gel polish shades that I used are either from Nail Reserve or Madam Glam. And I will try to link all of those colors down in the description box in case you do see a color that you like. But starting off here with my second coat, well, not starting off. Going in now with my second coat of color on all of these nails, I just am going ahead and applying a second coat just to make sure the nails have that nice, full, bright color, and then I will be curing for 30 seconds in my nail lamp, and we will be moving on to the next step. So now that we are finished with our gel color, I am going to be using a black gel polish and also a liner brush. This one is from crafts by nine and it's the liner brush number three i just like how long it is these brushes are absolutely amazing one of my favorite nail brushes which i will also be linking down below in the description box and i do have a code with crafts by nine which will also be in the description box because i forget the code at this very moment but I just went ahead and picked up the black gel polish on the liner brush and the next step for these nails will be to outline them in black. And this right here was probably the hardest part of doing this nail 
design, even though it really wasn't that hard at all. I just, because I said it was beginner friendly, and then if you like start the nail design and the first thing is to outline all of the nails, it may be a little bit difficult, but just trust the process. You can also go in with a cleanup brush with some acetone and clean up your outlining, which is awesome because you can make as many mistakes as you want and then just go in and clean that up. But overall, it was very easy. I just kind of took my time. And this footage here is really not sped up much at all. So you can see I was just really going very slow and trying my best to get that perfect outline on the first try. But basically, you are just going to be outlining the entire nail and completing that to the rest of the nails. I think I only showed the green nail and the pink nail just because it is a repetitive process. I didn't want to add in too much and have the video be too boring or too long. So I did just go ahead and do that. Also, as for curing, I cured for 30 seconds for each nail, like in between, moving before moving on to the next, just because I didn't want to mess anything up or like struggle getting the outline and then like bump it, have it be messed up, and then make this nail set last or take even longer. So I did cure for 30 seconds on each nail. <laughs> After I had all of the nails outlined in black, you can kind of see the nail set coming together. But before moving on to the next step, I did want to go ahead and show the shades of gel polish that I'm going to be using. Again, these colors are all from Nail Reserve or Madame Glam, and I will be linking all of the shades that I used down in the description box below. So as you could tell, I just picked a darker shade of the colors that I have already used. For example, I used green, a lighter green on my index finger, but now I'm taking that darker green and I'm going to kind of draw a shadow, kind of this is like a shadow on the nail in the corner of the nail with my same Craft by Nine liner brush. And this was a very easy thing to do. I kind of just drew like a little swoop line it was kind of like swooped down a little and then just filled that in and then cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp this was very easy and once i had this on all of the nails you could really see the pop art design coming together this kind of just brought it together a little bit more of course a trust trust the process type of set just because you are adding a lot of little detail the highlights the shading or the like shade darker area but yes so you can plainly just see what I'm doing just drawing on a little swoop and then filling in that specific corner on the nail and then I did cure for 30 seconds once I had that finished on all of the nails, here are how they are looking so, so good. I was so proud and so happy with how these were turning out. I now poured, I put some white gel polish onto my palette and using that same liner brush, I am going to be creating like a highlight on the nail. So I just drew a white line curved down and then using a dotting tool, I went ahead and put a dot at the bottom of that line. It's pretty hard for me to explain what I'm doing. I feel like it's a lot easier just to look and watch what I'm doing versus me explaining what type of line or what type of dot I'm putting on the nail. After I did have that finished though, I did go ahead and cure for 30 seconds and repeated that to the rest of the nails. Now for the last finishing touch, I'm just taking that black gel polish again and drawing a little black line at the tip of the nail on the opposite side of the white line and the white dot. After I liked that, I went ahead and cured that in place for 30 seconds. 
And then to finish the nail set off, we are going to be using a glossy top coat. And this was just the no wipe top coat that was included in this gel extension kit. I went ahead, applied that to all of the nails and cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After the top coat was cured, I'm now just going to be topping these nails off with some cuticle oil. I used my McCart soy cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And let me just tell you, this is probably one of my favorite nail trends since I've been like doing YouTube and doing nails. I absolutely love this one so so much. I am so happy that I saw this on my Instagram feed. I think it looks so good. It looks so like professional and it looks like it took forever to do but in reality I was genuinely surprised with how beginner friendly this was to do, how easy it was, and I just absolutely loved the way it turned out. If you would like to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this, I'm not saying that I'm the creator of this design, but I love seeing this because it is one of my favorite trends. You can do so because I would absolutely love to see how your nails turned out. If you are looking for a fast and easy way to extend your nail length, I definitely recommend trying out this kit. It will be in the description box if you are interested, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.